Good afternoon, everybody. This is Kapo Daniel. Today, I want to take you to Cameroon to show you what has happened with the indomitable lions. Somebody may be wondering, but why is this so important? Why are we in Ambazonia talking about the Cameroon national football team? And bet you, it is very, very important. If it was not very important, you will not see Paul Bia himself directly engaging about their football team. He is directly in charge. You saw when Cameroon was trying to host the football tournament, Paul Bia personally was involved in the organization, taking this position to make sure that things happen. Football is, football is not just football. You look in international politics, they sanction countries by refusing them the right to host football in, in uh, competition. Football celebrities are very essential in collective thinking, in people's love to their country, how people identify with their country, how people feel satisfied, how people are happy, how people take pride. It is very essential in nation building. So make no mistake, the Cameroon international football team is very important. That's why everybody's talking about, that's why the prime minister is calling people, the president is engaged, and eight office is very important. So for everybody who have been watching this thing, I realize that 90% of the audience get it wrong. They don't even know what is happening. And it shows us how far we have, we have to go for Cameroon to ever be free. Our Anglophone people, our Ambazonian people to be free, even the Francophones. People are so clueless about very important things. So what you people have to know is that the football can make and break a country. We saw how DJ Jogba used the popularity he has, the football, the love of football, to bring peace in his country. Somebody who is coming from a Christian background, a predominantly Christian community, extending the hands of rebels who are fighting against their government, going without protection from the state to meet rebels and play football with them. And it opened the pathway for the nation to heal and come out of crisis. So this football thing is very huge. It will give us a reflection of what that country is. And to show the lay people that football is very interesting to them, what is really going on. So let me take you people to go back to what is happening in Yaoundé. What is happening now is that, as I told you people, Etofis is the biggest disappointment in Cameroon. The most popular African football player, the person who have the biggest connection, biggest media impact across the globe, came to Cameroon, instead to speak up against corruption, speak up against lack of development in a country where people were dying of poverty, dying of lack of hospital. Eight of his decided to go and meet the most corrupt leader, Paul Bia, associate himself with Paul Bia, call Paul Bia the father of the nations. Why? Because of his own personal ambition, his own personal ego. And today, the vast majority of Cameroonians, Anglophones and, Ang and Francophones, all of them are rallying behind Etofis and cheering him no matter what he does. People just think he's right because he's popular. And that is the mistake we have been making for the past years that we must correct. Just because Eto is popular does not mean that he is always right. If we cannot shame the people who are popular, failing to stand up for the people and the people are standing up for them, you will send a signal that this type of behavior is right and you will be used, misused and dumb. The Cameroonians will continue to suffer, Anglophones and Francophones. So let us go to the training ground where the, the Indomitable Lions are training. The players have come in and they don't even have jerseys to train. So we will show you the images that are coming in from their training ground and explain to you people what is going on. So that may all now understand which way they happen. But I take a look. So now the football player than this. That's the national coach arriving. They go to their hotel. The hotel is complaining they have not received payment. They got stranded there. And Eto sent out a press release saying that 
The Fika food could not come there because they have gone to a different hotel. They did not bring them uniforms. So they don't have uniforms to train. The latest image we have, which is this one, shows that some of the football players there and the old coach have scrambled to look for Jay-Z so that the football players should wear. So what is happening is that Etofis is sabotaging the national team. Etofis don't want them to win. He wants to spoil everything. Is that what the Cameroonians want? Is that what people who love football want? Definitely no. Is Eto a patriot by trying to ruin the national team? Was Eto Fis trying to help the national team or he was trying to build his own image? He wanted to just have the spotlight. That is the only thing that is bothering Eto Fis. So what is going on that you people should know? Eto Fis decided to become part of the establishment, decided to support Pobia without any precondition. They said, go to the Anglophone zone, go and make mockery of the Anglophone. He is willing to do that. Do everything. And now, the Cameroon government want to show Etofis his real place. What have they done? Etofis, who is in charge, his job is to appoint the national coach to validate the list of players that are supposed to be selected. That job was taken away from him, given to the Minister of youth and sport the minister appointed the coach without even consultation even courtesy eight of his want to argue they now appoint the staff members and these are the problems that the cameroonians have been facing all along the one that the problem will run the face of cameroon all along especially we anglophone them well when you go for go write public exam whether not for economy whether not for enam what are for police recruitment? What are for which kind of recruitment? You do all the homework. You read. You then say you need master's degree. You get master's degree. They say you need first living certificate. You get first living certificate. They say you need ID card. You bring ID card. You certify them. They say you see need best certificate. You bring best certificate. They certify them. They say you see everything certification, certification, certification. Taking money from the poor, taking money from the poor. Then when the result go come out, then go mark the conclude them. The list for the people the way they be competent. They go take that one, tear them. Even if they go announce them, you go for ministry. They go then change the list, put the one where they minister them. Then they for day. Put the one the way that people the way they run bright. Then they for day. Put not the one the way the jean kia le the jean dans le équipe nationale. Then they for day they go put them. Me as a day for year, I don't write a name, a pass them, I go down there, my name no day for the list. I join B, I enter B, we pass B the exam, then call my name for radio, we go for your day, my name no day for day. For a name, they call my name, we go for your day, they remove my name, because they be see my name down, then fees in a, in a Anglo Bami, we go for your day, our name were not there. That is why some of us, we are abroad. Because we have suffered marginalization, the system is bad. So you, Eto, you know how the system is. Even though, as they talk, Basa people, them now a little bit elevated slips inside the Ewundu, but Beti clan. You, Eto, fish, you know the suffering of the Basa people who were massacred by this same regime. The Basa people who fought for Cameroon independence. You know their struggle. You have gained international personality, international stardom, where you can speak and nobody can put you in jail. Instead for you to use your fame and your money to speak for the people of Cameroon and ask Pobia to stop this war, to speak against corruption, to speak against the lack of development, lack of infrastructure, to speak for the people of Cameroon, you go and join the same people. You go and join them. Today, it is your own turn. You want to choose a coach, a coach, they rejected your list. They are mocking you. You want to choose the staff member. It is your power. They will remove it. You draw a line. The coach cannot cross this line. They cross the coach cross the line and go away. You invite the coach and then you apologize to the coach. <laughs> and then you, as the president of Fekafu, 
you are so you are your job is to choose the coach is to choose the technical team instead they now say that your job is to buy the mayo <laughs> oh oh manjunga you go do na something manjunga manjunga day for for make the laugh manjunga go show na pepe it office a down low so now a tough is in the say they need to recognize it. He don't call coach me, coach come for meeting. Coach come out come now the whole quarter. It, they don't humiliate a tough is, humiliate a tough is. Then instead for for population, for stand up for tell a tough is say, show us say you get dignity, resign. When I still stand the support na eto. First of all, when you betray the people, whether they look up to you as a star, as a celebrity, Instead, you can go join the oppressor. You go join the corrupt regime. Fee say they go respect you. No, they go bring you down to Porto Porto. They go show you your level. Say you are nothing. When the population fail to shame Eto, when they fail to call out Eto, that Eto, you should have visited the Ambazonian refugees in Nigeria to show the poor beer that we Anglophone and Francophone, we are one. You do not sympathize with the refugees. You do not go to meet the IDPs. But you went to Boya. You mocked them. You go and join the B. Today you are publishing a message. Press release saying that the FECA food members, they have been intimidated by the presence of the Cameroon military and their gendarme and their army. <laughs> no, no, you talk say be president. You've been uh, the, the Cameroon, now the military, they're going to guide you. Now you decide that same military they go free put you for prison. So you today a to you the sabotage Cameroon national team because say they need one for, for put you for spotlight. You want me now you there for day they receive the player, then the show and say you be na a to papa a to eh, papa a to me then begin to worship you, and that is why Africa have never progressed because we worship people who are not patriot. We worship people who don't love the people. We worship people who cannot speak for the people. That's why our parliament are made up of all and useless people. We worship people for money. We worship people for fame. We don't respect love for people, love for humanity. We don't love people who put people first. We want alcohol, sex, and drugs. The French people have polluted us and take advantage of us because we have not put value first. If you have value, you will tell a tough is that a tough is if you 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 respect the population that support you, you will not accept to be humiliated. You will resign and show the people that if the president wants to take over my job, let them take the post. The constitution of Cameroon don't give Pobia the power to choose a coach. It doesn't give the minister to choose a coach. So you a tough is, you have to show them how the war works. You have to show the whole world that. Cameroon is not above the law. Pobia is not above the law. But you cannot do that because you yourself, you have compromised your value. You have compromised the trust that people have in you. You have compromised the millions of people who look up to you as a celebrity. And your personal conduct shows that you are a useless man. You are a mumu man. A tough is you are a mumu man. You, child support in your family, you did not pay. You, you steal money from Barcelona, you don't pay tax. So people should know you for who you are. You are a selfish man. Anybody who is supporting a toughest, if you truly love football, you have to call him out and tell him, resign. What are you, for, what are you looking for behind these people? What are you looking for behind people who are not patriotic? In this case, as a matter of fact, the fact is that when a system is corrupt, nothing can work. So if Pobia is controlling the football team today, it cannot work. It can work. It can work because he's a one-man show. But this is the, this is the matter. A tough is who is a competent person. The fact that he accepts to work in a system that is corrupt makes him incompetent. That's why no matter his football knowledge, he could not take the Cameroon team anywhere because the way he came to this, this position Ask yourself, why did DJ Drogba not become the president of, of the football team in his country? Why? You think that he cannot be? He can be. But he knows the power to impact and influence from outside. To make the system be better so that he can save the people. 
If Eto Fis wanted to change football in Cameroon, he could have stood up from the day they won and said that Cameroon should have hosted football Nations Cup long ago. Not even today. Not even this century. Cameroon could have hosted African Foot, uh, Cup of Nations in the 90s. We could have hosted that thing long ago. He did not stand up to speak for the people because he has bowed his head to get this position, kissing the lips of the devil. He has corrupted the, the Fika food, withdraw money from the Ministry of, National, of Youth and Sport without any accountability. That's what people are not talking about. Eight office can end up in jail. So when you think you are popular and you think people are fool, you come inside to help the people, but you are taking advantage of the people. Today, people are seeing your emptiness. They, but they, unfortunately, the people are not even capable of understanding what is happening. They cannot even see the humiliation. They are keep on making excuses upon excuses for Eto. Eto is being humiliated. The man did die last like day when I received support. When I still feel that Eto did try for Helen na Cameroon, or he did try for Helen na Fika food. No, he's there to make his money. He's not a patriot. He's not. If he loved football, if Etofis loved football, he could have not even entered that chair as a, as a FIFA president when he knows that the decision were taken by the Ministry of Sport. He could have stood up and said the Ministry of Sport have no power over Feka Food. But when you accept to go and be a president of Feka Food under the Ministry of Youth and Sport, then you have to face the consequences. As a matter of fact, the poor Bia is actually right in this case because poor Bia knows that eight office is incompetent. They are using that thing to make their money and eat their money and compensate their friends. That's why people like, like uh, Collins were kicked out of the, the, the team. Stupid boy like this guy, our brother G, Clinton G, who does not know how to play football again, they put him there just to show a face of Anglophone. They don't want to put competent Anglophone. The same thing that poor Bia was doing. When you are a competent Anglophone, they don't want to put you. They go and bring door Anglophones who are going to be following their politic of Père de la Nation. Père de la Nation, ce n'est pas notre culture. We are not there for Père de la Nation politics. It's primitivity. Père de la Nation politics cannot exist in this 21st century. So, end of this, you have accepted the Père de la Nation politic. Now you are inside, you still want to show that you are a toughest, you are popular. No, Pobia does not accept popular people. He does not accept popular people. So we all must come together to change the system. I don't even, I'm not even talking about Pobia. The president, head of state does not matter for me. The fact that Pobia have stayed in chair for a long time does not matter for me. Because Angela Merkel have stayed in chair longer than made many African presidents. But he has developed his country, her country very well before she left power. The president of Rwanda is almost a dictator, but he's developing his country. So the problem we have is the system, not the people. Even us, when Paul Bia give multipartism, what was the result? Show me one council in Cameroon, in Anglophone or Francophone zone, that have accounted to their electorate how much have come in and how much they have spent that money. Show me one. SDF during multipartism, what did they do? When the government was given every parliamentarian 40, 40 million, John Frundi said that every parliamentarian should donate 2, 2 million to him. So the 38 parliamentarian for SDF raised money, 2, 2 million and gave it to Frundi to use that money for his personal self. Money that they give to parliamentarians and senators, they take that money and use it for themselves. Budget of every, every uh, council is being used without any public debate. The population and the staff member in the council, they don't even know how much is there. They don't know when the treasurer brings money. Treasurer brings money in cash, take it to the mayor's office, they share the money, they eat amongst themselves. Everybody you elect in Cameroon is working for themselves. Everybody, look at what Petit Pay is doing. Petit Pay is speaking against the regime. He's the most popular star in Cameroon. He could have easily go and start to call Paul Bia, Père de la Nation. 
they will make give petit pays the amount of money that he wants, the position that he wants. But petit pays is speaking against the regime. People who have popularity are trusted by the people. It is a vote. The love that people show to Eto, the love that people show to celebrity, is a trust. It is a betrayer not to speak on behalf of the people when they have trusted you with their love. But apparently, the blind love we are giving to this Eto have corrupted him. And it shows that we have a problem. We are the problem. Because unless the population are politically aware, unless their activists and their people who speak for them are politically aware, speaking truth to power, empowering them, so that we have a collective sense of entitlement, nothing will be done for us. The idea that when government come and open a road and create a road, the people will come and clap and dance, minister will come and cut ribbon. It doesn't work like that in civilized places or places that are progressive that grows. When government build a road, nobody should say thank you because they are doing their job. When you start to worship people who come down with money, they come and bribe people in the villages to go and vote. You want to go to the vote the person that gives you people money. You are looking for leaders who give you money. Then those leaders will be fake people because only fake people will give you money. That's why we vote people who come with big cars because they live in Yaoundé. We treat our own people who live in the village like village villageois. You cannot trust them. These are the people who know the problem of the village. They know the type of toilet you use. They know the place, the, the bridges that needs to be built, where people go and harvest their crops. They know the real problems that we face. But they can never be given power because the people themselves, they don't respect our own talent. While we are struggling to push for solution, some of you are focusing on my language. Kapo Daniel, you cannot speak English. Kapo Daniel, your grammar is not good. Who can be the best advocate for Ambazonia than me, Kapo Daniel? Who have done the greatest research work? What I have put out there, even Justice Aya Paul, <laughs> I have corrected him. And he has accepted that I'm right. So, when we are, until we get to a place where we as a people, we can think critically, we can hold people to account, then change will come. Until then, we are still far away. We are still far. Because now, our brain still consider popularity as right. Money as right. So, why do you go to a, into a room? You want to know who is right. You ask who, to a key. What is your qualification? It's not only ang francophone. Even amongst us anglophone. They say, what do you study? How come you know something? What is truth? They, they, if you want to find out what is the truth, what is the truth? They will look in the room and say, who have the biggest degree? Ah, you have PhD, so you must be right. Ah, you don't have PhD, so you must be wrong. Ah, you don't know how to speak English, so what you are saying cannot be true. Eh, you, you are not supported by a white man, so what you are doing is not right. That is where we are. And I want to raise this awareness. We are the never again generation. It is us to put an end to primitivity. To open the eyes of our people to be able to see reality. Stop worshipping people because they say things that you like to hear. Because they play into your emotion. They say the right words, but they don't bring real solution. They are there to feed your feel good feeling. Etophis is there coming to make drama. But he himself have not spoken for the people. And today, his real intention is in pure display. Everybody who loves football can see that Etofis is trying to sabotage the Cameroon national team simply because they didn't give him the honor that he wants. Is that what a, a patriot is supposed to be doing? So you should see him for who he is. A selfish person who is taking advantage, maximum advantage of life for his own personal benefit. He's not working for anybody. The small hospital he built there compared to his salary is nothing. Look at what people, uh, Sergio Mani is doing in his country. Look at what Josh Weir is doing. Look at what DJ Drogba is doing. You cannot compare them with Eto. Eto, P, Eto Fis is a big failure. If they say you judge somebody according to the, the widow's might, the widow's might was good because he, she gave a huge proportion of what she have. Eto Fis is taking you people for a ride. And you people should see him for who he is. A very selfish person. In this situation, he was supposed to be sacked. 
because he has failed. You went to Nation World Cup, you go and win Brazil. That is is that what you went to World Cup to do? You you carry last and then you talk to you, you know you know one subject. No. What has Eto Fis done for Cameroon football? Nothing. Even as a star, he played well for Barcelona, not for Cameroon. If he was given the trophy he gave to Barcelona, to Cameroon, if he was playing with the same energy when he was playing in Cam for, for Cameroon, Cameroon could have had more than what they had today. As it is, we can only take the the goat or the <laughs> or the donkey to the river. Whether you people drink the water or not is up to you. Have a good day. May God bless you and give you a beautiful sky wherever you are. For the meantime, it's important that we use the occasions like this to show our youth, to show our people the reality of the country and our own nakedness. Because I see what I, I see out what is going out on social media. The reaction of our people is clueless. It's shameful. So this is the reality. You see, Etofis he is popular. Popularity is not right. A popular person who go and sell your soul to the devil should be treated like him. And the population of Cameroon who continue to support him without asking anything in return, any expectation, should know that they deserve what they get. They should have called out a two and say, okay, if you are, if you say that the prime the minister have appointed the coach, resign. He's not supposed to do that. You have the law on your side. But we know that if Eto do that, he will be in prison. And watch my word, Eto will end up in a bad place. Watch my word. And for the meantime, Nutu Tsong Dam Lelu, Anglophone, Francophone, we are all in water. If the Francophone thought that uh, humiliation is only for us Anglophones, they should see the humiliation of Eto. This is a humiliation of all Cameroonians. It is a humiliation. And the cover up of Eto trying to cover up to come and be in the spotlight, fighting for spotlight, is just trying to whitewash a grief. Cameroonians should know that we are in hell. Our women are dying in the desert, trying to go to abroad because they cannot eat. People are so poor that they don't have any dignity. Our diaspora are suffering everywhere is suffering. And it's time for us to come back and say, let us stop this system. This system that was put in place is not saving the people. We want institutions that are strong. We want people who are driven by people's interests. We want leaders who focus on the people. Otherwise, Paul Bia will take advantage of us. Eto will take advantage of us. Everybody will take advantage of us. Look at the Ambazonian struggle. Look at Samuel Sako and, and Chris Anu, what they are doing to our people. Look at Ayabacho. They are all a disgrace. They collect money, eat the money, go and take pictures in front of buildings and send to the people and say that it is diplomacy. When you are fighting for real solution, they are there fighting you. They want to use us for their own personal benefit. They are not working for the people. So we must open our eyes. What is this? What type of stupidity is this? People don't have the, uh, the ability to think. They cannot think straight. We must be able to think, be critical in our, our mindset, have our pride intact, have some value system, that we hold up to and have the right expectation and call out people. Otherwise, we can never have a system that can hold people to account. We'll end up in village, the Cisier Savet.